Amsa here of Ames's Antics. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are well because I have something creative and crafty to share with you. And I'm back from a small little break in uploading. I went on my jolly hauls. I feel really refreshed and back to getting crafty. So in this week's video, I'm going to doing a bit of mosaicing and having a go at making mosaic art as you can see behind me with this lemon mosaic design. Now this is one of the craft kits that I purchased recently and I will link that video above if you want to check out that craft kit haul and I thought I would share the process and how the mosaic turns out. So if you'd like to see how to make this mosaic art with a lemon mosaic design then let's get to crafting. So this is a lovely box that it comes in and it is quite heavy. So let's open it up. It comes really nicely packaged with some beautiful tissue paper and a lovely thank you card from Monet Designs and there's some more details if you do want to check them out. Also, what is in this? A little envelope. And this, I believe, is the instructions of how to put it together, which is perfect. So we have some yellow and white iridescent vitreous, I don't know how if that's correct, vitreous glass tiles. So these are two centimetre square tiles that we're going to have to trim down to create the design. But I don't know if it's quite picking it up because it's in the car, let's have a look. But those white ones are very iridescent. Oh, it's a bit sticky on the back. Oh yes, they're lovely, aren't they? You see that? shine that's gonna look beautiful and we also have some green sea glass as well and this will be for the pop-up color on that lemon i am sure you know the leaves of the lemons so that's the tiley bit then we have some pva glue to secure the tiles in place onto the backing so that's a nice little bottle i guess you could use that as well we use that afterwards and it comes with a handy glue spreader like this. Now I haven't used one like this since I was at school so this is going to take me right back to being at school with this little glue spreader. That's fabulous so let's put that to one side. We also in this little bag, let's have a look what do we have. Uh, this is the grout so it's a white grout that comes with it and I believe it is uh, 150 grams worth of white grout um, to finish off the mosaic with so I'll keep that in there because I don't want it getting everywhere. I'm clumsy. Also have a bit of twine because we can hang this design up once it is finished so they've added that little hanging piece of twine with it which is fab. And we also have the template for the lemon so i'm guessing you transfer this design onto your base and this bit tells you which steps to do where so i'm guessing that it means step one you do all of the lemon first then you do the leaf and then you do the background bit so that's that and finally in the box is the wooden baseboard that we're going to use to secure the mosaic on and this is 20 by 20 centimeter wooden base and it feels a bit like a plywood but I might not I might be wrong there so it's a nice secure thick base for that mosaic to stick onto now, I just think this has come out really beautifully packaged everything is in there that you need apart from the tools to cut down the um, tiles with now there is an optional extra of buying the tile nibbers with this kit from the store however I just went and bought a kit for myself um, a little bit cheaper and you get a little bit more in it so hopefully they do me well and I haven't just bought cheap and they'll break straight away but we will see when we get to making this beautiful craft kit so the first thing to do when creating the mosaic is transfer the design onto the baseboard. Now what the kit advises is to cut out the lemon and then draw around this outline onto that wooden board. However, I'm going to use a different technique and this is one that I used when creating my advent calendar sign, which I will link above if you want a bit of Christmas um, inspiration. So all you need to do is get a pencil and scribble all over the back covering the design on the back side of the paper then using a pen or a pencil pressing down with force 
all the way around that design and what should happen is by pressing on the force the lead on the back or the pencil bit on the back should then transfer the design on to the wooden base um, and it does do it quite well I think maybe using a pen may be better for the force and as you can see it has done a bit of a lighter design so what I am going to do is just go around this with my pencil just to darken it to help when putting all the different mosaic pieces on and once this is transferred properly it is then time to start mosaicing but safety first I'm going safety first <laughs> Yes, I would advise wearing some safety goggles for this because we are going to be cutting up those little tiles and they are quite sharp. So I'm using some tile nibbers here and as you can see you just place them in the middle and cut them down and little shards do come out. Now I didn't get that first cut quite right but what you want to do is sort of get the two blade bits in the middle and then it should just snap quite easily. But do be careful because things do fly out so make sure that you do wear safety precaution. I was going to wear gloves but uh, I didn't and I didn't feel like I needed them but that is an option as well so all you want to do is cut all of the yellow tiles down these parts will make the lemon part of the design and you want to do this bit first and then fill in the rest so I'm just using the PVA glue that was provided in the kit and placing a bit around the edge and using the glue spreader just to spread this out evenly now you want a decent layer of glue not too much but not too little so that the glue will go up into those tile ridges to stick them into place and what you need to do is make sure the ridge part of the tiles go down onto the glue because the glue will stick into them ridges securing it in place so what you want to do is start with all of the outside of the lemon first and then move on to filling in the middle parts and you'll have lots of different shapes you can play about with how you cut the tiles it is advised for this size to cut them three times only too small they may not stick and may fall off of the mosaic once the glue is dried because there's not enough surface to stick down to if that makes sense so yes now the lemon part is complete it is time to move on to the leaves and this bit is sea glass so I am just positioning them where I think they could go cutting some down to fit into the various pieces playing about with the design and then using that glue again to stick them all in to place and the lemon is starting to take shape And then it is time to fill in the rest of the mosaic now that the lemon design is complete. So I am using the pearly iridescent um, tiles for this part that came in the kit. And I am just using the tile nibbers again and cutting these down. Now what I did differently with these tiles is cut them as I go. Whereas before with the lemon I cut them all and I actually had quite a lot left over. So what I thought I would do is cut as I went and just cut them into the sizes and shapes that I wanted because obviously as you get going the gaps fill up and you do need different shapes to fill in all the gaps but once this is done we just then need to let the glue dry and harden and I left this for about 24 hours so that it looks like this it looks a little bit weird because there is no grout in it but that is the next stage in the project so in the kit you do get some grout and I'm just putting it into a reusable container here and I poured a little bit of the grout in and then a teaspoon of water mixing it up with that glue stick again to get it to the right consistency and what they say is you want it to be like toothpaste so not too thick but not too runny and that it will spread on the mosaics and now comes the messy part so all you want to do is use that glue spreader again to 
to spread in that grout and I made sure that I was really pushing this in to the gaps between the mosaics and filling them up, working my way around the mosaic until it was fully complete. And then once all the grout has been placed on, you want to leave it to dry for about half an hour, then grab a damp cloth and remove any of the excess grout that is covering the tiles because if you don't, it will stay on the tiles and it will be very difficult to get off. So wipe off as much of the excess as possible then let this dry and then the next day buff it again with a cloth and to make those tiles nice and sparkly and then the lemon mosaic design is complete and ready to use wherever. the making of a mosaic art with this beautiful lemon mosaic design from a fabulous craft kit that I would highly highly recommend. I love how easy this was to put together and them tiles were surprisingly easy to snap with the nibbers that I had um, and I just think it looks great how it's put together and I don't know if the camera is going to catch this but it has got a beautiful sheen with these. It's like a really pearlescent uh, shimmer so once the light hits it just right it's gonna look stunning now I haven't decided where we're gonna put this yet but apparently you can place this outside because once it is all set you can actually put it outside but if I'm gonna do that I may look at a mosaic sealer or some form of resin just to protect that grout um, but yes it should be quite durable now it has set up. So let me know what you think of this mosaic design in the comments below and whether you will be having a go at your own mosaicing. And if you've enjoyed this video, then please do give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to keep up with more of my creative and crafty antics coming up onto the channel. And whilst you're there, hit that notification bell because it will alert you the next time my videos go live. I've been busy doing a few sewing projects as well as some more arty craft stuff. So be sure to stay tuned for them. And I also have a blog, Ames's Antics, which is linked below and up above for you to check out. Sometimes it's just a little bit more information over in the blog and it's all there in written and picture format as well. And with that said, I will see you in next week's video and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and week and are able to do something creative and crafty to pass your time. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!